WRTV Streaming News is sponsored by Tom Wood Group. From Indy Streaming News Leader, this is a WRTV update. And I'm Lauren Casey with your latest headlines. Parents are calling for new leadership at an IPS school following alleged child abuse. It comes after a video surfaced last week showing a seven year old being punched, pushed and slapped. The incident happened at George Washington Carver School 87 earlier this school year. The teacher is accused of recording the incident and encouraging the behavior. That teacher resigned in November. District officials say the investigation as it unfolds, the principal and assistant principal of the school will not be on site. A St. Joseph County boy is accused of stealing an SUV and then crashing it. Officers say the 10 year old stole the vehicle from a family member in South Bend just before 730 Monday morning. The boy hit another car and eventually crashed into a retention pond. The child pulled himself out of the vehicle and was taken to the hospital for minor injuries. It's unclear what charges he'll face. Tonight, the Pacers are looking to tie up the series with the Milwaukee Bucks. Indiana suffered a blowout loss in game one. The Pacers will look to contain the Bucks' Damian Lillard, who scored 35 points in the first half of game one. Tip-off is scheduled for 8.30 in Milwaukee. Let's get a check right now with our forecast with Todd Claus and what can we expect? All right, a bit of a temperature spread here today, Lauren, as the cold front makes its way through the state. It arrives in northern locations quicker. You're only in the mid-50s where the cold front and the rain takes longer to get to 70 degrees in Columbus. Look for a period of rain primarily throughout the afternoon hours across the area as the cold front goes through. Could some, be some brief heavy rainfall, but we're not expecting any severe weather. The rain should end by about 6, 7 o'clock in the metro area and then push further to the south as we work our way throughout the evening hours. Now it's a cold front coming through. It doesn't have a ton of moisture with it. Anywhere between about a tenth and a quarter inch of rain. The exception is to the north where you get into that rain a little bit earlier compared to other locations. But once once the front does go through, it sets us up for a cooler day tomorrow. We'll have lots of sunshine. That's the good news, but high temperatures once again only in the mid to upper 50s.